You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And then I couldn't help but say, no, I don't think that's the right answer. Oh. Well, hi there, you lovely lot. Lee, I brought you a cake. A real cake? <laughs> no. Oh. It's an imagination cake. Low calorie. What's the point then? Do you want me to reply to that? Yeah, I do. I don't want to reply. Unless it's an actual cake that I can put in my gaping maw. I don't want <laughs> your to gaping know. where? <laughs> my gaping maw. Oh, how? Oh, your mouth. Okay. Yes. Um, well, what have we got from the world of celebrity this week, Lee? Um, we've got some news about Across the Pond version of Strictly. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> on screen now, you can see our contact information. Yep. At the Could TV on social media where you can follow us. The TV is our website. And on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe while you're there. And as people who have commented, liked or shared one of our posts on social media this week, as they slide across the bottom of our screen, we go over to Mike and the buzz. Have you ever been mistaken for someone famous? Constantly. Really? Who? Jason Momoa... Um, the Rock. Are you sure someone's not asking for a mimosa? <laughs> no, they, 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 you know, I just Do they go, quote to go, mimosas? No, they go, oh, Aquaman. Sup? <laughs> and I go, I'm not Aquaman, but thank you. Mm-hmm. Made it all up, Mike. I was going to say, then you wake up going, oh, that was a pleasant dream. Usually people say something like, mm, son of biggins. <laughs> then I leave them lying in the floor. Unconscious. Well, whatever gets you through sadly, don't they? Um, well, this story I have is about a man who continually gets mistaken for Dwayne Johnson. The Rock? The Rock, yes. The Rock Dwayne Johnson. The Rock Dwayne Johnson. Does he, still, does he just go by Dwayne now or, or The Rock? Both. Both? He's binamal. T depends what mood he's in. Yeah, depends what he's doing. Really, okay. He? Right, so he's going down the shops, he's not The Rock in the shops, is he? Depends how formal he wants to be. <laughs> OK. Um, but, yeah, he was shocked to find out that a US cop looked like him and he's called Eric Fields. Now, the, on, the pit, on the screen, the gentleman driving the van is not the oh, lookalike. Oh, OK, I was about to say, <laughs> he does not look like The Rock. <laughs> yeah, that's not the lookalike. The lookalike is the man outside the van leaning oh. on the window. Well, if I did not know, I would assume that that was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You would, wouldn't you? I would. Yeah, which is what a lot of people have done. We have a picture of Dwayne Is that the, the real rock? rock? That's the real rock. Because you can tell he's got the tattoos. Veiny breasts. <laughs> it's very vascular. <laughs> <laughs> not mad about it. I don't like a veiny breast. Do you not like a veiny breast? No. Well, everyone needs a bosom for a pillow. And I like that a doesn't look like pillow. it would be a comfy pillow. I like a firm pillow, though. Do you? Yeah, I don't Sinewy. want Sinewy. <laughs> Not a sinewy pillow. Well, it would be sinewy if you put your head on that. Well, it's muscly, isn't it? Can you, can you, completely going off topic, mm -hmm. can you make your boobies dance like the... I, I can if I jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah. Judgery um, bits on roads. <laughs> jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Yeah, and if I jump really high, I can make them clap. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't, I don't have pectorals, so I can't make them go... Duh, 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 I can make duh, them... Duh, 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 duh. I can make them jiggle a little bit. No, that's just your arm, Mike, and the pressure of you trying to... Anyway, cracking on. <laughs> You're cracking one off on that picture. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson tweeted when he when he saw this picture. Okay. okay. We don't have the tweet because it, it's, it's got lots of swears in it. Is it? Yes. It's, oh, swear word. Wow. The guy on the left is way cooler. Um, he then swears and swears and swears. Okay. Um, stay safe, brother, and thank you for your service. Because oh, because he's a policeman. A policeman, yeah. He could have said, oh, my God, can I offer you a job as my lucky-likey stunt double? Yeah. But he didn't. Oh, I want to send them both a tweet going, oh, my God, I have a job for you both. Can I be the filling in your sandwich of veiny breasts? <laughs> veiny breasts, yes. I, I, see, it, it, it's muscle, though, isn't it? It, it's, it will be firm to touch. Mm. Yeah, which I'm not, not, not averse to. Um... But but moving on from from one from one way of being in heaven to another. Oh, um, as a, a man has brought out a new machine, okay, that will. Well, there's no way to explain it other than say it's a suicide machine. 
I've heard of these. <laughs> Very on board with them. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can only put yourself in one. I know. Okay. Totally up for it. Checking, okay, just making sure you had got a list. No, of no, people. no, no. I'm not going to put people. Well, I mean, obviously. But when the time comes, mm. totally on board with that. Okay. Well, the good news is that not only is there a suicide machine, but there's also a virtual reality version. So you can experience what it's going to be like to go in th through the, the motions. Not so keen on that idea. Not so you don't want no. to try before you buy? No. No? No, I don't like that idea. That's freaky. Why is that freaky? Because you're going to try it before you do it. Because you might not enjoy it. So, oh, no, I don't want to die that way. Um, I see your point, but I'm still not keen. You're not keen? No. What, what does, it, does it kind of mildly gas you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, um, you get in the, in the, the sarco, which is short for sarcophagus. Yeah. Um, with a VR headset on, and, and it, it chills the area a little bit, and you can feel the... the the darkness setting in. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not nice. But to have a go on it, you have to go through a, a mental health assessment 24 hours before you do it. And if it's if you do it later, you have to do it again. So if you're like 27 hours, it's like that. You have to so you don't go completely start raving bonkers? Pretty much, yeah, because you're going to be simulating Death. killing yourself. Yeah, in a suicide machine. But the, the sarcophaguses themselves are 3D printed. I've, I've chosen a... I haven't gone with... I, not keen on that. That sounds a bit scary. Okay. I've gone for another one where they put you in sort of like a pod mm. and, you know, no night, sleepy time, forever. And then they put you in the ground and you become a tree. Right. Okay. And I quite like that idea. Do you actually become a tree or do they just put some seeds in? No, they put some seeds in. You don't turn into a tree. Right. Okay. So it's not like you get changed. You're not like a butterfly. Change. No. They oh, like euthanize you. Yeah. And then they just and put, then some put, seed, the put some seeds in your pockets, put you in the <laughs> ground and wait. <laughs> and then, yeah. And I, 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 yeah. What kind of tree? I don't know. I didn't look into it that in depth. I was just like, oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> I'd pick a fruit tree. A fruit tree? Yeah. So people could eat me, eat your plums. Even after death. Yeah, I just have... But they would taste bitter, though. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Not a treat for everybody right now, to be fair. <laughs> but I think that'd be fun. It's like going a little memorial plaque at the bottom. Saying, yeah. enjoy, enjoy these peaches. Yeah, because I, I, I don't want to end up an old crone in a, in, in, you know, in a rocking chair. <laughs> what if, 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 um, you know, this, this, this whole, you don't want to. I'm... In the first flush of youth, as it is now, it's a long time before I've become an old crone. But first I don't want to become an old crone, so I would rather uh -huh. go out while I'm on top. <laughs> I want to be the dirty old man in the pub. No. I say want to be. You are the dirty old man in the pub. Yeah. It's just a suicide pod away. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> um, but if, if you see something on the internet you want to share with us, our social media is at the Could TV. Our website is the could.tv. Just tag us in it. And now it brings us to story of the week. It's a story about Grinderly. The, gr the Grinder. The Grinder. Okay. I didn't say the Grinder, but we'll call it the Grinder. You're, a, you're a popular, you're a, you're a, I was going to say you're a popular lay on the Grinder. I'd, I'd rephrase that. You <laughs> like to use the Grinder, don't you? I, I use Grinder along with other applications. Okay. Because I believe a wide variety of, of, of gentlemen are out there. Of gentlemen and, you know, Different moods take different requirements. Yeah. Yes. Um, so when I want to be ignored by pretty people, I use Grinder. Oh, okay. Um, Squirt. Is that one? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a, it wasn't a request. <laughs> it, was, I was like, <laughs> like said, it is a website, you're correct. Oh, okay. Yes, that's advertised primarily on porn sites. Oh, so it's not, it's not a dating site. <laughs> okay. Just lets us know where you're getting your information from. <laughs> um, this is um, Grinder. As the Vatican are concerned that a lot of their priests are being found on Grinder. <laughs> I'm not looking surprised because you know, hello. What? It, 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 I would expect it. Why would you expect them to be on Grinder? Well, because there's a lot of homosexuals in the church. But it breaks their vow of chastity. Even if it's just the tip. Even if it's just the tip. Yes. Do they? Do they take a vow of chastity in the in the Vatican? Well, well celibacy. So they're not allowed. They're not allowed to touch themselves. And oh, forever. Forever. Oh, because mm, they're not allowed to have a wife, and they're not allowed to to. Well, that's very harsh, isn't it? People have needs, Mike. I know. Everybody has needs. Everyone has needs, and that's the thing. It's it's a vow of of stopping yourself. They go in on grinder. Mm -hmm. Obviously, not saying you know I'm. Oh no! Some of them are dog collared up and everything. Oh, is that kink? Well, possibly. Okay. 
Maybe it's a uh, forgive me, Father, because I have. Blub, blub. <laughs> so what are the Vatican going to do about this? Eh? Um, they're basically they're, they're trying to because the Vatican's its own sovereign state. Mm -hmm. They're talking about monitoring the mobile data usage of, of oh. people in the, in the priesthood. Oh, just go. And, do you know what? Have a little bit of fun, boys. Just get it out of your system. As long as they're over the age of consent. Yeah, why not? Who cares? Who, you know. Who are you hurting? Yeah. Well, but that's all from the buzz this week. <laughs> Thank you for that, Mike. That, that, that ended very abruptly. It did, and, yes. And, <laughs> <laughs> but that was pure and simply because I didn't want you to say something libelous. <laughs> all references to the rude things I was saying, I've, kept, I've squashed. So that's fine. Mm. It's fine. Well, next we have Lee in the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with him, our Lee. You've not referred to my MBE today, Mike. What, what, what MBE? This. On my bosom. You're calling that an MBE? Yes, yeah, the Queen gave it me. No, well, a, a Queen, queen gave, gave it to it me. Yeah. yeah. What's the MBE stand for? Massive. Mm hmm Words I can't say. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excrement would be the last one, surely. No. Massive bollocking excitement, which is often what um, showbiz is described as. Yeah. So we've had the kind of reveal of um, Strictly. Uh huh. And American do their own version. They do, but they, they change do. the name, don't they? Like it's called Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Du, du, du. I don't know if that has the same theme tune. I don't think it has. Yeah. I'm not sure. Anyway, they so they are following where the UK led. Okay. So for their new series of Dancing with the Stars, they are having their first ever same-sex dancing couple. Okay. And it's somebody who we've spoken about before on the show, mm -hmm. who neither of, us, neither of us have any idea who she is, because she's for the young kids. It's Jojo Siwa. Okay, I actually know who she is now. Do you know who she is yes. now? Yes, she was on that show. Remember Dance Moms? No, yes. Yeah. Yes, with the woman that goes, Rah! <laughs> yes. Dance better, or I'll kill your children, or something like that. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. She's one of the dancers. Yeah, she was. Yeah. And then she went and did YouTube, Yeah. and then blah, 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 um, and she came out last year. She did. So so they've, they, they basically offered her a slot on the show. <laughs> um... <laughs> They offered her to be on the show and okay. said she could dance with a, a male or female part. It was up to her what she chose. Okay. So she said, you know, I identify as queer, so I'm going to go for the female. So cool. they haven't actually announced who she's going to partner up with. Okay. Um, and to be fair, it's quite a big thing for America because they don't Ooh. really do LGBTQIA representation on, Not on television well. shows at all. So, you know, it's fantastic. She She's kind of like saying, she said, it it's... Fantastic. I wanted to make it okay mm -hmm. for people to kind of do these kind of things. Yeah. Um, she, you know, she's like, I've got a girlfriend. I want it to be normal for, for people. So, yeah, good for her. She's yeah. um, going to be... Uh, she dances anyway, mm. so she should be quite good well, at it. She was on the TV show about learning to dance. Mm. She's here. We've got a picture of her here with her girlfriend. Cute. Baby gays. Yeah. Very young, aren't they? Yeah. It's very fine at like 14 and just way behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she's going to be... They've, they've not announced... Except it's an American, so a lot of the celebrities have no idea who they are. The other person... The only one other person I knew mm. too, is um, Brian Austin oh. from Beverly Hills 90210. Mm -hmm. Hello. He's matured. Yes. Mm. And then, oddly... Yeah. Melanie C, a.k.a. Sporty Spice. Well, um, we've got the judges. Now, the judges uh -huh. are practically the same as the British version. So there's there's Bruno Taglioni. Who's not doing it this year in the UK. He's right? not doing it this year in the UK. Uh -huh. mm. The other one in the middle. Len Goodman. Yeah, Len Goodman. I don't know who she is. I think is she's he, like... Does the... he still do the UK version? No, he doesn't do it anymore. Because he was saying he was flying over uh -huh. between the US and America was taking its toll. And okay. also they pay a hell of a, a lot, lot more, more. Yeah, yeah. in America than they do in the UK. So, yeah, so... Um, Sporty Spice, mm -hmm. she's she's said, I'm going to do it as well. Very Apparently, I mean, she's been very honest. She said, they ask me to do Strictly every single year, but the money's shit. 
Where's the Beeb in it? So she's like, no, I'm going over to America. Yeah, well, the Beeb, it's on the BBC, isn't it? So yeah. like, I don't know where you Paul's can... Drag Race is, you know, you win a bad yeah. challenge. Mm. I don't know where it's going to be shown in the UK, or if you can see it in the UK. Okay. I don't know. But, you know, g- great strides. Because obviously yes. this year and, and we're having a, a same-sex male couple on our version. Mm-hmm. Ooh, gayness everywhere. Yes, this is what we want to see. More gayness. Gayness. Well, if you want more gayness... I do. Let's not talk, <laughs> I nearly said something. If you want... No. Um, <laughs> Elton John. Okay. There's, there's nothing more gay you can say about that. We've got a picture of him here. Now, this picture that we've got of him here, I thought it was his waxwork. It's not. <laughs> it's actually him. Has he had some work? Is it looks, like, it, it looks like it's the Elton John waxwork, but it's not. Anyway, he has released, or he's about to release, an album <laughs> that Ooh. he has recorded during lockdown. It's the, we've got the cover of it here. He's got... It's, got, it's called the Lockdown Sessions, uh-huh. and he's got a very Elton John style That mask, mask. is CGI'd on. Do you that think? That doesn't look like he's wearing that mask. It's bejeweled and everything. It is. It'll be of a Che Che, won't it? Knowing him, because he likes that fashion stuff. Anyway. Versace. Yeah, Versace. Yeah. How do you actually even say Versace? Versace. 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 No, you don't say it like that. Yeah. So he's, he, so he's got on board loads of like, Younger celebrities, mm, so to prop him up to, <laughs> <laughs> to get him across the road. <laughs> so he's he's got loads of different people. So he's got we've got a picture of him with Ollie Alexander from years and years. Mm-hmm. Some people cruelly said that was like when you take your nan out for the first time during lockdown to the local you see, harvester. You um, see, I looked at it slightly different. I was quite chuffed by that because you know Elton John, who's sort of like had to come out quite late in his life. Yes. Compared with Ollie Alexander, who's always been out and proud, mm. right? And it was quite nice to see two really good singers in different parts of the, their their career, yeah, both being able to be out and proud. It, it touched me in a way. Did it? Mm. I think mean, nothing touches you very often, does no, it? Unfortunately. No. <laughs> so yeah, so he's doing. He's got lots of different sort of um, celebrities to do cover versions with him. He's got Dua Lipa. They've got a, they've got a song in the hit parade at this very moment, Mike. In the in the in the, in the top forty parade. in the hit parade. Um, that's the charts for everyone that was born after. Uh, yeah. So we, yeah. Th- so that's out. He's he said like um, the the sessions were recorded under very stringent safety regulations, working with another artist but separate by glass screens. I don't know whether that's for sniper. COVID <laughs> or that's just for the safety of the other artists. <laughs> I was say, it's like Elton John sniper watching them, <laughs> or Elton John like rubbing himself up and down the screen. Hello. Ooh. It could happen. He's still got needs. Um, He's got a husband. That doesn't mean anything. Not in the world of celebrity. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be 16 songs. Okay. Um, He's got Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. Lil, Lil Nas X. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> you say Lil Nas X. I'm Lil Nas stroke. X. Okay. So he's on there. Mm-hmm. And then he's also got some kind of new and upcoming LGBTQI talent cool. on it. So that's coming out end of October. Green it. No. What do people Stream do it. nowadays? Stream it. Stream it. Just listen to the music. Just listen to the music. Just listen to Go it. Go where the music takes you. So yeah. that's something to, to kind of look forward to. Yeah. Ooh. Now, we've talked about this last bit of showbiz news before. The Queer as Folk reboot. Yes. So it has been rumoured and rumoured and rumoured to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is... They've actually confirmed cast oh. when it's happening exciting who's going to direct it so we've we've got a picture here of the original because it was the american version and there was the, the so the the, U, the uk British, version yeah. was first mm-hmm. and then we had the usa version which yep. went on for about five series did it or was it longer uh, four four series four yep. Whereas we only had two mm-hmm. um they had longer yeah so they are um rejigging it mm-hmm. and um it's going to be directed by Russell T. Davis. Russell T. Davis. So it's going to be directed by Russell T. Davis. Yeah. They've announced the cast. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ryan O'Connell, who is who is one of our favourites, he plays um, a, a character of himself in a, a Netflix show called Netflix, uh, a Netflix show called Special. Mm-hmm. Um, he is going to be in it and he's actually going to be directing it as well. Brilliant. So that's good. So they've kind of like, so he signed on as a writer. He's going to be executive co-producer. Mm-hmm. They've, Revealed the cast. We've got a picture of the cast here. They're all hideously ugly. I don't know how they're going to make it on screen. Yeah. Because it's, you know, 
not nice. Um, oh no, look at that. Blah, blah, blah. God, oh, these terms are so all those, all those um, handsome men and beautiful women. It's yeah, disgusting. I don't. They've kind of given the characters, so they've told us what. They've not said who's going to play who. So we're going to have a non-binary professor from New Orleans mm-hmm. who's moving from punk to parenthood. Okay. We've got a charming and sometimes chaotic commitment phobe who finds their way into New, or- New Orleans after a tragedy. Okay. We've got a cocky high schooler with more bravado than experience, which is kind of the Nathan character. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we've got a successful lawyer who is not as put together as they seem. Mm-hmm. But we don't know who's who. Yeah. I'm judging by that picture. Mm-hmm. I don't know, really. I'd, I'd, the, the guy with the beard, number one. Would get it from you. Up to- Yes. Okay. Right. That's Beautiful it. man. So it's going to be it's going to be eight episodes. Okay. Filming now due to be released in spring next year. Okay. So so they're not redoing it. They're completely restarting. Completely re it's not the same story. It's okay. completely different location, characters, but they're all LGBTQI. Oh, well, so it's, it's good because I mean, I think cuz I preferred the US version to the UK version. Did you? Yeah. Of course, but but that's pure and simple because at the time Queer as Folk came out, I was the same age as Nathan. Oh. Was supposed to be. So it was very a bit close to the bone for me. <laughs> really? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Learning about rimming at the same sort of time. And now you'll be able to identify with the older characters, won't you? Yes, I will. Yeah. Yes. Whereas the ones that I identified will have all died. <laughs> all have died. <laughs> yes. And I won't have anybody long, to <laughs> long and full lives. <laughs> I, I have the animadrigal generation. Yeah. <laughs> Sad times. Anyway, that's the end of the showbiz news for this week. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for that, Lee. It's always nice to see that they're bringing something back that I'll actually enjoy. But stick around, as coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. And this time we're playing the game of the week and it's show us your draws. So off you merrily. Go on. Might be merry, might not be. Yeah, keep going. Game of the week. All he needs to do is use his fine art skills. I say skills to draw a few scribbles and get incredibly angry that it makes no sense whatsoever. Are you ready, Lee? I am, Mike. I'm ready, willing and able. That's good. So the first one Uh is a place. A place, ooh. (laughs) Doesn't appear your buzzer's working, Mike. (laughs) Ding. I'm going to say it's the Taj Mahal. No. Is it not? No. It's in a place that is... much colder. Much colder. Um, and they um, kind of have... I've got a new, I've got a new nipple noise. You do? Yeah. New nipple noise. Um, is it under the sea? No. It's a place in the real world. Well. Oh, under the sea is real. Yeah. Well, on the land. On the land. Um. Big hat. Big <laughs> collar. Urr. And. It's the North Pole and it's a bear. It isn't the North Pole. And they might do a little bit of dancing like this, Mike. In their fur coats. That oh. man looks. That looks like he's touching himself inappropriately. He is. He is. That's not dancing, then, is it? It's a kind of dancing. Just been buzzed. Just been buzzed. Do you not know? No, no, no. We're out of time. It's Russia. Oh. Russia. Why? I was going to do some Russian dolls then, but we've got them. Got some of them. He couldn't get it. No, nope, couldn't get it all. Because she's stupid. This is a person. Okay. Um, um, They've got a head. But they're still alive. They have... um, I'm hoping that's a pipe. If it's not a pipe, it's slightly concerning. 
No. He was... He's not with us anymore. Smoked a lot of cigars. Smoked a lot of cigars. Um, um... Is it my granddad? I didn't know your granddad, Mike. I'm not a psychic, so I'm not channeling. Well, I don't know. It might be on the cards. Just... No, famous person. Famous. He led the country when there was a... Flying sausage <laughs> epidemic. Um, that's a plane. <laughs> Dropping a small flying sausage. <laughs> There's a beach there. And and he'll fight them on the beaches. Ah. Winston Churchill. It is, Mike. Yeah. Famous. Well done. He was you. given um, cocaine lozenges while he was in power for a sore throat. Oh. Okay. Now, this one isn't... I, I, I don't think it's very far from Manchester, I don't think. Okay. Is it a place? Yes. Right, okay. Sorry, it is a place. Oh. <coughs> Central Bank. It is! That, well, you're a bit of a nerd, so you know where that is. Yeah. Have you ever been there? I've been there quite a few times. And um, they do concerts there as well. Okay. Um, now this one is, uh, it says sport, but I think it's more of a pastime. So. Cross stitch. No. It's a person with the breasticles. Have you literally just drawn pubic hair? <laughs> yes. Um. I think I know what it is, but I'm going to wait till you draw the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I definitely think this is a pastime. An orgy. No. Yeah. You're circumcised, but that's nothing to do with the actual thing. Um, and then they're in the water. Oh. Skinny dipping. It is! It's that one, so that was an, a very... Detailed, anatomically correct drawing. Yeah, of course it was. Oh, God. Right, this is a song. <laughs> you don't do well at these. Like an old children's song. Um, okay. Moustache. Man with a giant. Ooh, weapon. Don't know what. Don't know what happened there. Um, that's a horse. Okay. That's um, a horse. That's a horse. <laughs> What's it? happened to the leg? Um. <laughs> so he. <laughs> why are you laughing at? <laughs> the horse's leg. I know. <laughs> You've got three <laughs> of them for a start. It's got elephantitis. Um. So he. Sorry, sorry, you've just drawn another leg on to give it a weird tail ass. It's it's running. So um, <laughs> he had. So he had. Ah, <laughs> uh, the grand old Duke of York. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Just couldn't cope with that picture of a horse anymore. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Come on, him. This is a band okay. that no longer no longer is together. They're all alive, right. but they're no longer together. How many were there? Oh. Mm, sink. Oh? Mm, sink. No. British. There was one, two, two three. three. Um, what's, the, what's the sign for males? Little penis. Is it like that? No, no, you put a penis. Just uh, put a that's... penis. Yeah, there you go. So there was, there was three of them. Yeah. And then there was four... Oh. Late girls. This is quite obviously S Club 7. Huh? I said this is quite obviously S Club 7. No. What? Oh, no. Smaller. Smaller? Smaller than S Club. In that... Kind of like if S Club multiplied than S Club 7. and had a younger version. 
Are you saying S Club 6 is a thing now? No! Younger! Younger than S Club 7. So what? when you're in school, you yeah. have your infants, then uh-huh. you have your... Well, you have primary school, don't you? you have yeah, primary school, one, infants two, year, then. Three, year four, year five, year six. Yeah, but what is it? What are they called? There's, there's rage now, Mike. It's actually growing inside me. So there's infants, and then you're in the... Well, it's whole primary school, isn't it? Mike! What? You're in, well, at primary school, you're in reception, then you're in the infants, and then when you finish the infants, you go up into the... I just went into primary school. Oh my god, you did not! It's that... Oh, I give up. Swear to god. Before you started with the rage thing, I was going to guess S Club Juniors. Yes, thank you! Why That's all I wanted, Mike. That? It's a middle school. What? Why am I being shouted at? Because I didn't know what you were talking about. I don't know how to draw him. <laughs> so now we're just going through the list of things <laughs> that we're supposed to randomly draw. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get one last, last one. one. Right. What's that? I have no f***ing clue. Or that way. It's a utensil. <laughs> Draw it again for me. Just you might. Oh, a spoon. Okay, right. So spoon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. Get shouts out for your drawing. Put spoon. that into the tea. It's also a song. Guess it, Mike. must tea. Uh, spoonful. Or something in my tea. No, start without the tea. From that musical with um, the nanny in it. Um, what was it called? That film? Mary Poppins. I'm sweating, Mike. I'm angry. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Why are you sweating and angry? Because I don't know what you're talking I'm sweating. about. It's a spoonful of... Sugar? Yes! Okay. <laughs> oh, question your sanity someday. <laughs> question my sanity when you can't draw a spoon. I did draw a spoon and it was very clear that it was a spoon. Okay. Well, thankfully that's over now. Well, just after this break, while I call protection services, it's time for Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's all glitter, sticky back diamonds, and an overwhelming sense of regret, it's Crafty Queens. I regret nothing. Nothing. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. So, Mike, we're deep in the midst of autumn, aren't we? We, we are, we are, well, some people would say balls deep. Balls deep in autumn. Mm-hmm. Soon it will be Christmas, but we're not doing anything Christmassy crafty today. No, 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 no. We're going to do something autumnal. Ah. I have been out foraging, Mike, risking life and limb, actually, <laughs> genuinely. Because you fell into a ditch. I fell into a ditch collecting conkers. Mm-hmm. Not a euphemism, an actual <laughs> fact. Um, yeah, I went conquering and um, misjudged that there was a ditch and I went arse over to enter the ditch. So <laughs> there you go. Hopefully it'll be worth it. So we are going to create <laughs> a autumnal um, statuette okay. <laughs> resembling a squirrel made out of conkers. That's not something you hear every day, is it? No, for a reason. No, but this will this will be the other rage. So in front of you, you have a an, a, an arrangement of things that we're going to assemble to make a squirrel. Uh-huh. So you've got a little bit little circle of wood. I have got wood. Yes. That's going to be the base for the um, squirrel. Okay. So first of all, we're, so we're not going to do anything with them yet. But what you need to do is you need to have a lot. You've, you've got a selection of conkers there. Uh-huh. So you need a, a larger conker that's going to be the squirrel's body, mm. and a smaller conker that's going to be its head. Um, so just it, just choose the ones that you want and put okay. them 
Put them to one side. Okay. You're actually making a choice decision there, aren't you? Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've chose. Um, so... You've chose? I've chosen. Okay, so the brown felt. Uh huh. What I want you to, we're going to make some. We're going to make some feet for the squirrel. Okay. So just cut a little, little corner, a little square off the corner of your felt. You're gonna like, you know, like a love heart. Mm. Cut out a love heart shape. Okay. Have you done that? I'm doing it now. Okay. So you're going to glue those into the center of your wooden plinth. Are you still cutting them, aren't you? I am still cutting them, yeah. Because you've given me scissors that chew rather than cut. Oh. Those are going to be his legs. And now, so now what you're going to do is, um, you've got a pipe cleaner. Yeah. A brown pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. You cut that in half. With my usual scissors, yeah. Yep. You're going to glue that uh -huh. onto the pointy bit of your heart. But okay. so it's sticking up like that. Oh, can you do that? Can you manage that? Try it out. Now, ideally, I would use a glue gun. Oh, but you don't you don't let me use glue guns. Yeah, because they burn. So I ha so this is the next kind of, you know, next best mess that me me na Yeah. Yeah. You might have to hold it for a second or two. Well, it's 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 erect. It's erect, okay. It's erect. Right. So the neck mine isn't. Oh, I've got skills. <laughs> okay. So then you're going to take the conker that's going to be your body mm -hmm. and you're going to glue that with the, you know, the little white bit out? Yeah. That's going to be its tummy. Okay. So you're going to glue it. Whichever, you can have it, so if you want a taller squirrel, glue it upright. If you want a chunkier squirrel, glue it. Yeah, I don't, my squirrel won't even, my, my tail won't even assemble on my squirrel. So I'm going to have rage. Oh, great. <sighs> I'm in fear again. going to put a lot, of, a lot of glue on that. So, that's its body. Oh, that's actually working. Cute. Okay. And then you're going to glue its... Now... I don't know whether to do the features first. We'll do the features first. So, because that'll give okay. you a body bit of a time to glue. So on the conker that's going to be your head, squirrel uh -huh. head, yeah. yeah, you're going to get a bit of your felt mm -hmm. and you're going to cut out two little triangles and they're going to be its ears. Now, squirrel ears are quite pointy, aren't they? They are quite pointy, yeah. Yeah. So you want to make them quite pointy. Oh, like that. Let me see. So again, you're going to have the white bit of the conker, mm -hmm. the center of the conker facing outwards is its face. Okay. So I'll glue the ears onto the top of the head. So they're sticking up. Okay. Ooh, that is... Oh. That is cute. It's summit. Oh, boobs. Right, so you've got your ears. Yeah. Okay. Now you've got two... Wobbly eyes. Got googly eyes, yes. Googly eyes, pop those on where you would like them to be. <laughs> oh, is it coming alive, Mike? Is it is it coming alive for you? No. No. But it, you're managing, yeah. Just about. So you've got your eyes and you've got your ears, and yep. now you've got some little tiny pink pearly nipples. They're not I've gonna put, they're not gonna be nipples on the squirrel, because do squirrels have nipples? I don't know. Of course they that, do. That's gonna be a nose, so Okay. What, just one in the centre for its nose. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm going to be one of those people that you see at like Christmas markets with like thousands of these on a, on a stall. You know when you, you said you're them. going to be one of these. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. when, you've do, when you've got your face, yep. you're going to glue, put some glue on the top of your big conker. Uh huh. And stick, ooh, tendrils. Stick the head See, the problem is we're trying to balance a round thing on top of a round thing. It yeah. will stick. You just need to kind of hold it for a second or two. 
So has, has yours managed to balance the head? No. No? Okay. So yeah, my, mine's still not sticking on properly, Lee. So you're going to use just a little smidge of blue tack? Um, okay, I'll use some blue tack. You got any in your little cupboard? Uh, I've got something sticky. Sellotape? Just a little bit of sellotape, yeah. That'll work. It will. Mine are stuck now because I've been patient. Although it looks like it's had a stroke. And it's heads. There we go. No one will tell. No one will be able to tell it's got cell tape on it. Right. So, now... <laughs> You're telling me this masterpiece isn't done? You need to make its tail fluffy. And I've lost my fluff. So, just hang on. No, it's here. You've got a bag of fluff. You've got a bag of fluff. Yeah. Just take some of that fluff off. Because um, they have fluffy tails, don't they, squirrels? They do, yeah. And then stick that to your pipe cleaner. I'm going to crack on while you're doing that. So then you've got some bits and pieces that you can use to kind of decorate the front because they're, they're, they're forages, aren't they, um, squirrels? Yeah. So you can, like, put some um, little seeds on. Mine's going to be eating some seeds. Okay. With um, some little red berries. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue on. Couple of beads. Okay, couple of beads and things you said. You've got a, like a little strip of like acorny type things. Uh huh. I've got oh, little acorn itself as well. I've got a giant um, what are these called? Pinecone. Pinecone. Glue that on. Oh, that that is pure, pure tat. There we go. Let's have a look at yours, Mike. Can you turn it round? Yeah. Well, that's a disappointment, isn't it? It's stuck together. It is, yeah. Mine mine has stuck together without needing sellotape. Because I am a crafty queen. Yeah. Do you know? Do you like that? Do you not think that's beautiful? I, I think mine looks better. You think yours looks better? Because mine has nipples. Have you stuck nipples on it? Yeah, you said I had nipples. Ooh, My right. tail's definitely bigger. It's all about size, Mike. It's always about size, Lee. There we go. So, you know, if you make this at home, please send a picture in. Please. Validate me. That's the end of Crafty Queens this week. And remember, if you can't get any peen, be a Crafty Queen. <laughs> Mine's mega cute. Mine's definitely got buffo tail. Yeah. There's a lot there's a hell of a lot of of murkin left. <laughs> you could have, you pop that pop that on your head and let's have a look. You pop it on your head and have a look. It's more of your call than it is mine. <laughs> <laughs> but that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. Why am I holding this? And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching. And we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. This is going on the shelf. No! Private place. Private place. <laughs>